YouTube team keep it clean what's going on it's engraven here with another video and in this video Tony O'Brown he makes his return to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers uh, so they get yet another number one wide receiver because Antonio Brown would be a lot of teams number one wide receiver a lot of teams but he goes to Tampa Bay as that third fourth sometimes even fifth option so these dudes have a plethora of of weapons yet again because they literally brought everybody back uh they even added i think what giovanni bernard a pass catching back out of the backfield perfect for that tom brady style type of offense uh and, and then they they brought back gronk of course uh mike evans he ain't going nowhere they brought back godwin um man these dudes they got so much talent everywhere so they are in prime position to run it back and see one of the best things about this deal too for the Buccaneers is that I know there were a lot of people saying uh, who who when I would talk about the possibility of my Ravens signing Antonio Brown because that's something that I really wanted to happen but it obviously isn't now some people will say oh man Antonio Brown he's his he's gonna be too expensive his price tag is too high and I would say well well what's that price tag then I would hear crickets but the price tag is a one year deal worth up to six point two five mil up to and he has three point one fully guaranteed. $2 million signing bonus, so the rest would be earned through incentives. And even if the full thing was guaranteed, it's a $6 million deal for one year. It's not an expensive price tag at all, especially for a very high-quality wide receiver like Antonio Brown. So congrats to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. These dudes are loaded. They're loaded. And he gets to go... Not only play with TB again, but not with TB, Tampa Bay, but he gets to play with Tom Brady. And you know Tom Brady is somebody that's been vouching for Antonio Brown for a very long time. He has had Antonio Brown's back for a very, very long time. And it's been said that Antonio Brown even lived with him for a period of time. So they're definitely close. And since they have such a good off-field relationship, this should help with their on-field relationship. But the thing about this year... I expect Antonio Brown to have an even bigger impact on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Why? Well, because remember last year, what did he have, like 45 catches, something like that, maybe a little over 400 yards, a couple of touchdowns. But remember, he, he came on after week eight, I believe. Week eight, week nine, he came on. He came on in the middle of the season. So he hadn't been there for their training camp. He wasn't there for their preseason. Well, I mean, preseason was obviously a lot different last year, but he, he wasn't there. He hadn't been there to learn the playbook and all that stuff. He, he wasn't there for that because he came on in the middle of the year. But this year, he will go through an entire offseason with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So that is not only, that's not only to his advantage, but it's to their advantage as well. Because now he'll have a full offseason to really get acclimated with everything. So he won't be having to play catch up. So that's why I would expect him to do a lot more damage than he did last year. And I mean, as and you saw, as the season went on, Antonio Brown got better and better and more and more comfortable. And then, of course, you know, Super Bowl, he was the most comfortable ever there. And he did his thing there. And he was one of the uh, big contributors in the Super Bowl because he caught a, one of the touchdown passes. All of those guys that the, the, the Bucks brought in, they all scored touchdowns. All of them. It was Gronk. It was AB. Uh, I always want to say LeGarrette Blunt. Not LeGarrette Blunt, though. Um, uh, from LSU. Fournette. Leonard Fournette. There we go. I always want to call him LeGarrette Blunt. But anyway, this is a good move for them. This is a great move for them. Smart move for them. Um, and again, inexpensive. So congrats, Bucks fans, for keeping your guy. Uh, and congrats to Antonio Brown for being able to stay with your guy and with your new home, with your team. And he's in Florida, too. Antonio Brown's from down here in Miami. But he gets to stay in Florida. He gets to stay in Tampa. And it's like three hours away. That's it. So he still gets to stay close to home. So that's even better, man. He gets to be conveniently located right there. So... This is just nothing but a bunch of wins for him, man. So shout out to AB and shout out to TB uh, for bringing him back. Team Keep It Clean, appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And just like Antonio Brown is no longer when it comes to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, I'm out.